Time it, where is the daily recap? I want to see my comment featured. Now what? Dang, Jaime, shiny face. Oh, I can raise the volume on that. Air Miles Rivera. Yeah, that's kind of the way it goes. That's right, it's that time of the week. I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap, your comments for last week. So on Monday, the topic were the possible changes to the iPhone 11, including a better modem, since uh, connectivity is not really the stronghold of iPhones. I asked you what your experience is so far. We had 409 comments. Yeah, my iPhone is constantly at one bar when my friends have full bars connectivity. Doesn't matter anyways, gonna switch to the Samsung Note 10. Yeah, that was the king of bars last year. If Qualcomm will be supplying modems to Apple again, iPhone users should wait until next year. That is something that I would totally do. I bought then returned my XS Max due to its connectivity. My Galaxy Note 5 had much faster Wi-Fi speeds. Uh, wow, really? That's, <laughs> that's an old phone, man. But on Tuesday, the topic was Google I.O. We were in Mountain View. We had a lot of fun. We actually did a full vlog, a video that went live last Sunday. I asked you, what did you like the most about Google I.O.? We had 412 comments. Pixel 3a XL, best feature equals no ugly notch. Dude, I, you know, I can't even begin to tell you how much there shouldn't be anything that I should like about the 3a, but what I like the most about it is the screen. It's... God, you're so right. Native support for dark mode is what's most enticing about Android Q. Quiche, anyone? Yeah, I think it's gonna be Quiche. What other name do you guys think could be available? I don't think there's any other. I guess so. <laughs> Best Google I.O. announcement, 10 times faster than Google Assistant. Oh my God, yes. I, you know, obviously it's still far for that to happen, but that is gonna be epic. You know, when they said, yeah, we're gonna show you something that's faster than actually using your phone, I thought they were kidding. They were not. Then on Wednesday, the topic was foldables. We were still at Google I.O. We saw a ton of mock-ups of foldables. And I asked you, I mean, do you really feel that there is a market for foldables? We had 372 comments. I don't think the fold is necessary for functionality, but I think it is necessary for growing the industry, which has become relatively stagnant and really declining. Amen. Exactly. I, I feel that it's, you know, it's good bragging rights. Uh, and they are cool products. I just, you don't need them, but they're cool. Maybe foldable phones will be the standard soon if people can afford them. Exactly. Whenever they drop the price, I I agree. I mean, I don't understand. I, I do get it. That there are a ton of moving parts, but the market is just not designed for a price like that. If the fold was cheaper and worked, I'd get one and ditch my tablet. I definitely see a need for them, but whether I'm but whether I'm willing to compromise enough is unclear. Yeah, and definitely the biggest compromise is the price. I mean, are you truly getting $2,000 worth of a gadget is the question. And then on Thursday, the topic was, I'm just gonna scratch my head with these stove leaks of the iPhone 11. Uh, are they growing on you? We have 372 comments. Google, ugliest front design. <laughs> Apple, hold my beer, comes out with the worst back design. Oh my God. Yeah, if, if only they happened on the same year. But you know what? Regardless, I mean, sure, the notch on the Pixel is terrible. The camera hump on current iPhones is terrible as well. It's atrocious, but it will sadly become a trend. Oh man, yeah, we've got to blame who? Huawei? Stove design looks like saggy butt cheeks. Great video, by the way. Diego picked this comment. And then on Friday, the topic was controversial. Obviously, the tariffs, the raise in prices because of taxes. I asked you if you think that it's fair that we should be paying for these taxes if we weren't the people that chose to manufacture phones in China. We had 468 comments. Apple, why are our sales and profits down? Also, Apple, let's up our prices. That'll solve it. Yeah, sadly. And, you know, it's a downward spiral that companies do whenever their sales start dropping. Obviously, that means demand drops. And so what they do is raise the price, which is stupid. It should be the other way around. I wonder how many sales Apple would get if they lowered their starting prices. You know, I'm really curious to see the performance as of next quarter because they've been doing deals for the past weeks. If these import taxes become permanent, Foxconn will move from China to India. They have, there are already iPhones being built in India. I believe the iPhone 6S is one of them. So I feel that that's something that should happen. I mean, it's not our fault. Why should we pay for it? 
But that's it for the Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you so much for watching. If you want your comments to be featured, keep them short, stick to the point, and try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media as most of our extended coverage happens there. And if you want to see me posting weird photos of running and stuff like that, you can also follow my personal handle. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.